Right, you guys, today we're taking a look at some cool things to do with a tiny computer. Now, if you're looking for a tiny computer, the Orange Pi 4 LTS 4GB of memory with the Rockchip RK33996 Core Armor 64-bit version with the 16GB of eMMC Flash, which comes pre-installed with the operating system on it. And you can reflash this or you could use the uh, micro SD card slot to put your own operating system. So I picked up a case and I've also got some thermal pads here with some screws for the case with the little screwdriver and also got the Wi-Fi antenna here as well. It does come with a Wi-Fi antenna already installed, but I wanted to upgrade it. And this does have Wi-Fi AC on this one and it supports Bluetooth 5.0. And we have the actual board here itself. This does also support the Mali T860 GPU on here, which should be plenty capable of playing some low end games, which I'll show you a bit later on in the video. So you can see it's a very tiny little computer. And there's tons of things you can do with these little mini PCs, whether it be setting up your own pie hole, file sharing system, a media streaming system, or whatever it is you want to set yours up, retro gaming system, print server, just about anything you want to do with these little things are great for a little project. Now, before we dive too much into this, I just want to have a quick word from today's sponsor. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, click on this one and then you can uh, see we'll bit the buy now page, hit the buy now button, put in my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order to get a juicy discount. Once you click apply, it will be reduced down to $16.41. Submit your order and then activate your version of Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro. So let's take a quick look at the Orange Pi LTS specs here. As you can see, we have got the Rockchip RK3399, 4 gigs of RAM, 16 gigabytes of eMMC flash memory on the mobile operating system support on this one, USB 3.0 and 2.0. And we also have a type C USB 3.0 on here. Full specs will be listed in the video description. You can check this out. It does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and just about everything you need from a little mini computer. So if you've never owned one of these little mini computers for a few fun projects, then I'll leave the link in the video description for some more information. There's plenty of options available out there, but this one is the Orange Pi and it's a pretty powerful little mini computer. So let me show you how we can put this together. If you've never put one of these together, it's pretty straightforward stuff. So what I'm going to do first is remove the little Wi-Fi antenna here. This is already attached to the board. And if you've worked on laptops before, these are pretty much a clip into place. And I'm just going to unclip these. They're like a little tiny lug that uh, clips into there. So I'm just going to unplug that. Now, if you can get your hands in there, you can just gently pull this off. But I just used a screwdriver there to ease that off. Next up, I'm going to put it into the bottom of the case here. Make sure it's going in the right way. It can only go in one way. And again, I'll leave all the links for this stuff in the video description. And uh, basically, once you've got this lined up, we need to put on some uh, thermal pads here. These are quite big thermal pads, but this is quite a big case. I'm not too sure whether they go this way or whether that secondary one goes onto that silver chip there. Let me know in the comments section below whether this is the right location for this secondary pad here or whether it should go on that little silver chip down there. Uh, there is a little tiny one here that says rock chip on it as well. And I'm going to be sticking this little tiny one on here because this is how they come. So let me just take the little plastic covers off of these. And this will help cool down the CPU, uh, the GPU and the chipset. And these are the three that we're going to be covering. So I'm hoping these are the correct ones. I know the CPU is correct and the GPU is correct. And I just need to attach the Wi-Fi antenna. So I've clipped that into place. They can be a bit tricky. Um, so just take your time and it should just clip in. Once we've got into place here, we just need to attach the Wi-Fi through this little hole here. But there is a little section we can push that part into. So let me go ahead and clip that in. And there was no instructions, but it's pretty straightforward stuff, really. You can just uh, work this one out as you go. And there is a little channel there where we can clip this in, and it should hold that into position. So let me just push that into position here without pulling the cable off the board. There we go. And that's in position. And once that's held down here, we just need to tuck the cable down 
and then put the top back on. Now this is made of aluminium, so it's gonna basically cool down the whole uh, computer here. Now it is a bit of a tight squeeze and that's gonna compress down on those big thermal pads, but we're just gonna close this up by using the four screws in the kit. And she is pretty much done. Once we've done this, we can then uh, just basically put on our Wi-Fi antenna and she is complete. And that means we can boot her up for the first time and take a look. Now it does come pre-installed on the EMMC uh, flash storage there. You can overwrite it with your own operating system, but there is an operating system on there which you can use, which is the Orange Pi operating system on there. Now we'll be taking a look at Android because I want to try some Android games and also see if we can get the Google uh, Play Store uh, working on there as well so we can download some little free games on here. You can use whatever flavor you'd like. There is a few other flavors of operating system you can install on this one. And it's all listed on their website. I'll show you that in a second. Just let me finish off this little Wi-Fi antenna and wind it up. And there we go. She is now finished. And that is it. We have a tiny little working computer here. So if you're looking for a little uh, project to do that doesn't cost vast amounts of money, you can check one of these out. And again, this is a pretty usable little mini PC which you can use. So on their website, I've got the Orange Pi 4 LTS. And again, there's plenty of other ones to choose from if you want to go for something even smaller like the Orange Pi Zero. And this is it right here. Click on the download section, choose which one you want. Plenty of options available like Ubuntu image, Debian image, Android image. There's a user manual here and some official tools to create your uh, media onto those micro SD card slots, which is what I'm using here. They do have a forum with some support on there and I did actually contact them by email and they responded straight away and give me a link to a video how to create the image for the Android. And basically when I did that, it worked straight away and it booted straight up. Now we're on the official image that's on the EMMC uh, flash here, which comes pre-installed. I'm just gonna do some updates here. And uh, basically if you wanna use this, you can use this as your main operating system and use it every time you boot it up, it will boot to this operating system. Pretty straightforward stuff. You can go to YouTube, you can do your emails, you can do all sorts of little stuff on this little mini PC. And again, it's only small and it doesn't have a lot of power drawing from it. So you can buy yourself uh, the power adapter. It does work off of a standard Raspberry Pi uh, power adapter with the type C connector on it. If you want to use that, or you can just use the official little five volt uh, connector barrel there that you pump plug into it with the cable they do supply them on their website so let's do some testing here i'm running the jellyfish 140 mbps 4k ultra hd h264 dot mkv file here and you can see it's silky smooth next up is the big bunny 4k quad full hd which is 3840 times 2160 at 30 fps Really smooth, no jerkiness whatsoever. So let's try the Android operating system here. We're going to boot up to Android. And again, if you do like Android, you can use it on this little system here. And again, it does come with the Play Store and it does work. You just have to log in and you're good to go. Now, this is a slightly older version of Android on here. I've noticed this is the Android, I think, 8.1. I'm not too sure whether we'll be able to install uh, newer versions of Android on here. I'll have to check that out in future videos. This is the image off of their website. And again, I'm just gonna quickly sign into this. So let's take a look at the settings here to see what else you've got on this here. So you've got your APK installer, you've got your mail here, your camera, music, Play Store, uh, your official settings here, and a bunch of other bits and pieces on here. You can add more as you add more applications from the app store as you can see here i'm logging in here i'm going to quickly install beach buggy racer and just give you a quick blast on this so you can see really smooth as you can see here no problems whatsoever playing this little tiny uh, game here as you would expect silky smooth no jerkiness whatsoever really impressive uh, for a little tiny pc like this and it doesn't cost a lot of money to have a bit of fun on these sort of games now real racer free here this is a little bit more taxing. And again, it does handle it. No problem at all here. I'll just change the view here so you can see a little bit better inside the cockpit here is a little bit more difficult. There we go. 
and you can see here not a problem at all it's playing this game no problems and uh yeah so if you want this for a bit of fun and uh, set up your own little projects there's loads of things you can do with this let me know in the comment section below if you want to see some more uh, videos on this particular device and i'll be happy to make those videos for you on what you want to see me uh, do with it anyway that is the orange pie that is the new generation of mini pc now if you want to see how to uh, create the android image and install it onto a micro sd card slot and put it in here and boot to it i'll make that video for you let me know in the comments section below or any other videos you want to see on it let me know down below and i'll do my best to make those videos for you also, leave a comment and uh, give the video a thumbs up. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. My name has been Brian for BradTechComputers.co.uk. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.